Hello, happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all okay. Um, I'm full of cold. Sarah Jane's got oh, getting over a cold as well. So we're both delightful. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, uh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm very snuffly today and absolutely full of cold. So um, yeah, all good, all good. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Uh, the shop is an absolute mess as well because we've got, we've had to unload the van from Newton Abbott. So amazing show. It was really lovely to meet so many people and so, see so many people while uh, you, uh, if for those of you who came to see us, hello. Um, and then we're, I'm off to Duxford now. So we've got to pack the van again tomorrow. So it's just all a bit crazy. Absolute craziness at the moment, but it's fine. We'll, we'll be good. We'll be okay. So who's coming online? So hi, Carolyn. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Jacqueline. Hello, my lovelies. How are you all? Um, you will have to excuse me. I am ridiculously full of cold today. Uh, really, really cold. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm fine. Honestly, I don't feel horrendous. I'm just, you know, bummed up. Um, Eileen, you've all got colds too. Hi. Hi, Anne. Oh, I know it's, oh, it's just going around, isn't it? It's little man. He started it about two weeks ago. He's had a filthy cold and he's just gradually giving it to everybody. Um, hi, Kate. Hi, Lynn. Uh, back to see my library, indeed. <laughs> uh, hi, Leslie. Hi, Angela. Hi, Marion. Hello, my darlings. Um, so, um, not a huge amount of news. Just really, really lovely to see everybody at Newton Abbott. It was the first time they did a show down there. And we did a couple of little lives from it as well. Um, and... Um, it was lovely. It was a really nice atmosphere. It was nice and easy for us to unload and, and pack up again, which was amazing. Uh, hotel was right on site as well, so that was even better. Um, and we met some really fabulous people down there. It was really, we had a really lovely, lovely weekend. And then Sarah's going to be in the shop, so she, um, the shop is up and running. The website's all up and running as well all this week because um, I brought my husband into coming to Duxford with me. Um, so he's, um, we're going to be at Duxford on. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday show at Duxford. So if you are coming to see us, please do say come and say hello if you're in that area. Um, so who else is there? So hi, Jane. Hi, Allegra. Hello, my darlings. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do one of the Spiral Bargello table runners. And I very stupidly forgot to get a completed one out. Um, it's, hang on, I've got a picture up here show you i'll show you the picture it's the little one that looks like this and we've done it as a class and i realized hang on if i come to the overhead you can see just just a little bit it's a table runner that looks like that it looks almost like you know, one of the like paisley pieces um and it's done spiral and um we've never actually done it as a one o'clock and a lot of people have bought the kit from us and have bought the pattern and um we're a bit like oh i'm not sure i'm not sure so i thought it's about time i did it as a one o'clock isn't it really um it's one of our most popular patterns and one of our most popular um classes that we've ever done so i thought let's do it let's do it as a, a one o'clock and then we've got a little video tutorial so what you're going to do when you start with you need one two three four five six seven it is eight you need eight two and a half inch strips to make this okay doesn't matter what what they are i mean we use jelly roll strips but you could cut them out of your own stash okay eight in any color whatsoever now i'm using the twinkle ones because i had this demo prepped ready for hachanda for great and craft so i'm reusing the demo um but it can be any fabrics at all any jelly rolls but you need eight two and a half inch strips by width of fabric okay so oh, i'm very freezy um the software crashed just before i came on so i'm really sorry if it's freezing guys okay there's nothing i can do about that i will um <laughs> drew has moved out Josh has moved up into that bedroom and now we've got to uh, redo the downstairs room, which means that all of this studio and stuff and my sewing stuff is all going to be going into there, which um, means I can also plug directly into the router rather than relying on the Wi-Fi, which hopefully should fix all the freezing problems. So give us a couple of weeks. My husband and I have got to strip it all out, decorate it, and I'm having all like cabinets and all put in there you know like long tables and all so that I can uh, you know can set this all up properly so anyway back to the table runner if it does freeze I'm really sorry you're just gonna have to go with it eight two and a half inch by width of fabric strips okay 
We are the, you're then going to sew them together. So ignore this little bit here to start with. You're going to sew them together in a strip set. Okay, so you're going to have one long strip set with eight like that. Okay, and then you're going to cut it in half. All right, so I've literally just cut it in half. So you've got two and a half by 21, 20 ish inches. All right, you're then going to lie them on top of each other. And what I mean by that, so there's my base one there. Okay, and you can see that the orange is at the top and the black is at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to put the other half on top like that face up. So they're both face up, but I've turned it so that the black is at the top and the orange is at the bottom. Okay, or whatever colors. Okay, can you see? So they're opposites. All right, so that I've literally turned one upside down and laid it right face together. Had the pattern for ages, haven't even started it. Uh, started it. You've even got the jelly roll. Oh, well, you'll be able to start it now, lovely. Now, in the pattern, you get a paper template. So, oh, I've used it out of here. <laughs> you get a paper template, which is, um, it looks like a ladder, okay? It looks like a paper template, which you're going to stick together. However, if you haven't got the template, oh, what have I done with the template? It's because I used the ruler. And you've got one of our nine degree wedge rulers you can absolutely use this instead okay if you've got it the template works perfectly but if you don't have the paper template oh, oh, sorry if you do have one of these rulers this is easier okay so hi jane hello lovely what you're going to do is you're going to start right the way over on the left hand side so i'm going to pull this this way a weeny bit you try and keep them lined up as much as possible you can pin it if you want to right i've already started cutting so i'm just going to we're going to pretend I haven't started cutting, all right, like that. So this is just a strip set. You're going to start on the 16 inch line, which is on the ruler and on the template is the very bottom, all right? You're going to line that up on the bottom like that, and you're going to cut round like that, all right? I'll show you when I get to these ones what we're going to do. But you're going to cut, cut through both pieces at 16 inches. Hang on, let me just move it up. I can see on the camera that you can't quite see the bottom. Okay, so I've got the 16 inch line there and I've cut up and around. All right, that will give you two wedge shapes like that. All right, you're going to keep them in separate piles. So I've got the black at the top and the orange at the top. Black goes there, orange goes in a separate pile. Okay, so for my next cut, they're not quite lined up hang on let's just get this sorted let me just get this sorted and then i'll show you that on the next cuts okay because i didn't want to have to make another whole strip set you're going to go on the 15 inch line so there's the 16 that's the 15 inch line and i'm going to line that 15 inch line either on the ruler or the template on the bottom like that okay and i'm going to cut up and around okay <laughs> This is the table manner we made on the online tutorial. Yes, it is. Absolutely, this is. Again, we're then going to split these up. So I've got the black at the top in one pile, orange at the top in the second pile. So I can show you to the next cut now. So next cut would be 14. So I'm going to find the 14 inch line either on my ruler or template. And then we're going to put the 14 inch line like this down at the bottom. Okay, like that. Make try and make sure it's as straight as possible. So you can do that by looking at the little horizontal lines either on the template or ruler and making sure they're lining up with the seams, which they are. Okay, and then we're going to cut again. Now, one thing when you're cutting, now I want to be able to get the top of this in so you can see. There we go. I've lined that up. You're going to cut up one side like that. Okay. You do not want to cut this piece here, all right? You need to leave this intact. So I'm going to cut up to the edge of the template, across the top like that, all right? And then back down. Now, this is a weeny bit tricky on camera. I would suggest you move yourself around so that you're not cutting awkwardly. You know, I would go around the other side of the table normally and cut away from myself again. I can't do that because of the camera, okay? What we've got now is our 14 like i need a new blade in that rotary cutter definitely need a new blade 
There we go. So I've cut those two, which is my 14s. Okay, so I'm going down an increment each time. And you can see that I've not cut into this piece at all. I'm gonna need, you're gonna need every scrap of fabric. Black at the top goes into one pile. Orange at the top goes into the next. My next cut is 13. So I'm gonna go up to my 13. I'm gonna line that one up on the bottom like that. Make sure it's as straight as it can be. And we're gonna cut again, again, up to the top there, across the top of the ruler. Try not to go in, you know, cut any of the fabric. If you're worried about cutting the fabric, draw it all out first and then cut, okay? So there's my next one. So that was 13, like that. There we go. Again, split them into piles, orange in one, black in another. Now I do the next one, which is 12. So I'm gonna go across again. So how are you all, my darlings? Are you all okay? Is everybody all right? I'm gonna cut a couple more and then I'm gonna show you how to get all the, because we've got to get all the way down to one. Okay, so this one's number 12, which is like that. And you can see it's gradually getting shorter and shorter here, which is what you want. So up that side, across the top. down that side there we go okay so there's my 12. just carefully pull that out oh hang on got a little bit caught there now don't worry too much if this is a bit messy on the top because it's all going to get sewn away anyway again we're now going to split that so that went into that pile that one into that and you work your way along this whole set so that was 12. i get 11 out there Okay, and I can just, you might get 10, you should be able to get 10 out like that. Okay, so work your way along and you end up with something that looks like, here's what I prepared earlier, like this. Okay, so it looks a little bit crazy. All right, it's going to look like that. Now I've already cut one out of this, so don't worry, don't panic too much. Okay. You'll also have a piece that's here, okay? Because that was my, that was my uh, eleven there, okay? So there was a little strip of fabric here. Don't worry, I had to cut one again, right? What you're going to do then is you're going to turn the whole thing. So you're going to turn, flip this all the way round like that. So this is now my bottom edge, and all this is up to the top, right? Um, let me just find, let me see if I can find that one that would have been there so it's that one there okay so this would be the bottom so it's going to look a little bit like that you're then going to come across here and you're going to do my next one so you can see that that was my 10 all right so that was my 10 we're then going to go down and you're going to use this is why we didn't cut into this bit here okay because we're going to use this so i want my nine now so i'm going to fit my nine in there so there's my nine and can you see that fits in perfectly in there, all right? You really are going to use every scrap of fabric. Take that pin out, that will help. Stop the ruler rocking. So line up my number nine like that. And can you see, guys, that it comes It comes in there. This is why you didn't want to cut across into these, because you're going to use this fabric. So I can now cut my number nine out like that. That's wastage like that okay it's so much easier when you can move yourself rather than trying to do it backwards there we go get rid of that so there we go that's my number nine and i'd keep that into two piles all right so i'm using different colors here i know that's a bit confusing but it was the strips that i had to do the set and then we're going to do number eight so number eight can come out of here now this these bits here you're even going to use these bits in between okay so don't get rid of anything Number eight will come out of here. Is this making sense, guys? Is everybody okay? Are you all all right with what I'm doing? Okay, so that's eight there. You're going to need that bit. Don't get rid of that. <laughs> I'm going to split that into two piles. Eight and eight. And then we're on to seven. So seven will go out of here. 
like that. Now I can use that edge there as well. The seven, cross like that. And down we go. Okay, I'm sure that's quite cut there. I really do need a new blade. I need to pick one up. <laughs> there we go. So into two separate piles again. And then I can get six out of this one. There we go. So we're going to get six out of here. Like that. There we go. There's a six. Ooh, it would be if I could cut it like that. And then five's going to come out of here. So get rid of that one there. And we're going to go five out of that one. Just move that over. Can you see, you really are using every tiny little scrap of fabric. There's that one. There we go. Oh, I think I've managed to do two sixes. I think I've just messed this up. That one and that one. Okay, and then we can get four out of... No, it's not that bit. Where's... Oh, I've lost a bit. Where's me bit? I've lost me a bit of four. Look, there it is there. <laughs> See, I told you I, this was the bit that I cut off, off that edge. I told you you'd use it all. So keep every scrap. So four comes out of here. Are you all with me? Is this making sense? Okay, your sound's gone off. Oh, hello? Can anybody hear me? Can anybody else hear me? Waiting to see the final result. Okay, I'm, just let me know if it's... Um, everybody can hear me. So you can see, you can get four out of that piece there. Okay. Oh, nearly this just there. You can all hear me. Allegra, I think it might be you, lovely, because everybody else is fine. There we go. So there's four. And then can you see all these little tiny bits you've got left? You're going to get three out of... Is it that one there? And there's three coming out of... Three comes out of one of them. Hang on. It must be that one. Yep, there's three. Okay, so can you see it's you're basically down to just white now. There's my three there. And then two will come out of that one there. You can get two out of that one. Because it's just it's basically just the white now. And you really are gonna use every scrap. There's two, you're down to just white, okay. And then one will come out of this little piece here. Okay, oh, let me just line those back up because they've moved or shifted a bit where I've moved it. And number one comes out of there. Okay, so don't panic. It will look like you haven't got enough fabric, but you really, really have, I promise. Okay, so there's my ones. So I've worked my way down from 16 all the way down and you're left with scraps like hardly anything left tiny little bits but it does work i promise just work slow and steady and don't panic when you get to that three four five you know four three two one bit <laughs> i realized oh yeah i am oh, i was so cold in the shop sarah's like you've only got like a little thin vest top thing you know like sweater top vest on so i came over and immediately immediately put a jumper on because i'm freezing <laughs> right what you're going to do now is i'm going to use these ones here is you are going to lie these out, okay? So try and keep them in size order, which I haven't. I've got them all muddled up, but it'll be fine. We're going to start with the biggest one, okay? And you're going to line that one up like that. And you're going to start with the next one. And you're going to line up the, sh the narrow edges, okay? So you can see it's wider. The wedge is wider down here than there. So you're going to line up the narrow edges, and then, oh, no, that's the next one there. I haven't kept these in order. This is going to be interesting. Can you see how I'm lining up that narrow edge? Like that. There you go. Into purple. And you can see that the navy is gradually disappearing. 
And then purple, actually, I'm going to have to move it over, aren't I? You're not going to be able to see any of this. Hang on, I'll move this out of the way now. I don't need that one. So I'm going to start over here, lining up those narrow edges like that. And here we go. Like that. And there. Oh, hang on, I've done that one wrong slightly. There we go. You see how that bargello is starting to appear and then we've got green and it's starting to make that lovely curve another green one Ooh, hang on i got a bit dodgy bit on that let's get rid of that little nick there <laughs> okay i can't get this all in for you guys <laughs> i'm trying to i'll start sewing it in a second and you'll be able to able to see it more as it's sewing you see how that curve is starting to happen uh, and then a green one like that that's the same size that's why it was a bit tough because so green so yellow's next there we go that's because I was used I did it on the TV and I'm using up the demo there we go there and then we're into orange so orange orange I don't know if you guys can see this whether it's gone off the screen like that and you keep going you keep going like that okay so you you've got this lovely arc happening yeah that's fine so you're going to go lay out your first set because you know we kept them in two sets you're going to lay out the first set so you see this one was navy at the top and red at the bottom the other set would have been the other way around okay so lay out that first set like that you're then going to put them right sides together so we just I'm going to up the camera for you um, so that hopefully you can see this it means it's further away but let me just up the camera a second oh no that's as high as it'll go sorry guys as we start sewing it it'll get a bit smaller and you'll be able to see it okay but you've got that lovely sweep so we're going to start by stitching this one to this one so over like that and you're just going to stitch i'm lining up that top edge there okay and you've got excess down here don't worry about that we're going to stitch all the way down okay so over to the camera so you really do need to talk to me while i'm doing this my darlings uh who's there hi marion how are you lovely i hope you're well there we go so i'm going to stitch down these first two pieces like that who's made one of these because we've done these for years who's actually had a go at this before anyone what have you all been up to has anybody been up to anything interesting you're going to then just push that one out and you're going to add the next one on. you're always going to start at the top so i'm going to come across to here I'm going to grab my next piece in row i'm going to line up that little narrow edge like that and down we go again you can pin it if you want to but there's no seams to nest which is nice no nesting of seams because they're all offset because it's like a bar get piece of bargello or bargello what do you say do you say with a hard g or a soft soft g and you've made a few, haven't you, lovely? Anne made all my samples for me last time, so she did. She's done a lot of them before, and then she made another three for me. <laughs> so you've never tried this method. It's a really lovely little table runner, it really is. If you need, to, it's a lot quicker than you think, but they look really complicated. But they're really not. You've just got to trust that process of getting all the strips in. Okay, there we go. All the way down this one. Oh, right. Here we go. I'm going to sew one half together, which I know is a bit dull for you to watch, but I want you to be able to see uh, see this. Uh, sorry, you missed the start. Is that a special template? There is a paper template that comes in the pattern, um, which you can absolutely use. But we do, um, I don't think we've got any stock at the minute. We're just waiting for them to come back in. But we do have a nine degree wedge ruler which some of you may already have. Um, we've sometimes given them out in the raffles, so you may already have them. 
Um, so yeah, it might be, um, you can use that as well. Um, you're not a fan of paper templates. So you can put the template onto template plastic, but the rulers are being produced as we speak and will be with us in the next couple of weeks if you do want one of the rulers. Uh, what's that? You've never tried this method, Mary? No, it's a really nice one. Jane, you've never made a Bargello. It's on your never end a list to do. Oh, I love a Bargello because they're a lot easier than you think they're going to be. And it's one of those things that look way more complicated than they actually are. <laughs> there we go, all the way down here. So, Linda, you've made, oh yeah, that beautiful circular Bargello you made, Linda, was stunning. We're actually, um, we're doing that class again in, I think it's November. There are a few spaces left if anybody wants to join us. We're gonna make a circular Bargello quilt. Don't worry if you've got, like here, you've got a little bit of salvage in there. It really won't matter. You're not going to see it because it's all going to disappear into the seam allowance. Or I hope so anyway. I might have just cut that wrong, but, you know, I'm going with it. <laughs> there we go, down there. So I'm just always adding on to the right-hand side. Just adding each piece with a quarter-inch seam allowance. And lining up that top edge the narrow edge um we're posting them today before we leave ah oh, thank you joe that's amazing joe is um one half of craft uk who i know you guys all love her their templates they they you, we've had lots of them um from them and i know you guys buy from them as well uh joe's one joe's uh, and is better half and uh we asked them at the show if they could do do us some more rulers so they will be with us by the end of the week hopefully there we go see that salvage just actually disappeared so don't worry yes please to christmas bargello um lovely marion we're doing a class lovely at the merch um it's a one-day class and we're doing it in the merch so if you fancy joining us please do come along okay um I'm going to keep going. Oh, sorry, I think I've just moved the camera. I don't know if that is it back in the right place. It's going to be so much better when I've got the sewing room and everything, oh, everything is um, all set on proper, like, whatchamacallits, um, you've got proper, oh, what's the word? Like clamps and all, so that it, they're all permanent and steady and I haven't got to keep resetting anything. So, yeah, it's going to be cool. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Nearly there on this half. Like that. A few more to put on. So I'm just lining up that top edge each time. I've lost some of the little ones. I'll have to find them in a second. Ooh. What's the date? Do you book on the website? Yes, please, Marion. If you'd like to book on the website, that would be brilliant. Uh, just because it helps us keep track of um, of everybody and we don't oversell it by mistake. It is on the website. I can't remember what date it is in November. I'm really sorry. You'll have to have a little look on the website. But I'm, I think it's November. It might be October. I genuinely can't remember the date, but I'll have a look for you. But yeah, it's on the website under the work, masterclasses and workshops. And we're doing a circular Bargello, which um, is a really lovely technique. I really, really enjoy doing it. There we go, down that one, nearly there on this one. Mm, I've lost the lift, I've lost the one, two, threes. Oh well, never mind. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. It, it, uh, the 18th, thank you, Carolyn. Oh, see, somebody's on it <laughs> for me. <laughs> there we go, that one. And somewhere I've got two little pieces. I've dropped. I've, misplaced them somewhere but we'll we'll go with it for now okay like that nearly there that one okay right um where are those little pieces that i've just cut i've lost them now oh that's really annoying i've just cut them didn't i, I cut the i cut the two in the one which is just Oh, I've misplaced them. I don't know what. Oh, no, there they are. I've got them. Ha <laughs> ha. There they are. Found them. So the last two are just these. Not, you know, they're just the last bit of the strip, aren't they? There we go. There's number two. Line that up. I 
just think these are just such a super present. And number one, it's hardly worth putting on, but I do always put it on just in case. It's Most of it's going to be cut off to get the point, but it's worth it. Okay, right. So, back over here, my darlings. Let's get rid of all that. So what you've got now is something that looks like that. Okay, we back over here. Hopefully we are. Hopefully that's gone over. Oh, cameras are playing up a little bit today. Sorry, it's the Wi-Fi. So that's my second half. So what you're going to do now is you're going to give this a little iron and you're going to iron them all in one direction. So I like to press from the front and give that a bit like that. There we go. Press them all in one direction. Give it a good press. You could give it a bit of a spray starch at this point if you wanted to just to get it all nice and crisp. Okay, so all the way down like this. Right the way to the very end. Oh no, I've put the wrong ones on. I've put the others, oh well, never mind. You're gonna get the idea, guys. I actually put the, the color for the other ones on. I don't know what I did with those two little ones. I know I had them. So that's one half of your bar spiral bargello done. You can see you've got that lovely curve, how much smaller it is once you start sewing it all together. <laughs> oh, I've got that corner. What you're going to do then is you're going to put that aside and you're going to do exactly... Ah, I found them. They were... There's the wrong colours. Oh, well, never mind. I'm not changing them. You're going to do exactly the same, always on the right-hand side, with the other strip set so the strip set that is in the opposite direction okay so why i started sewing there i'm not sure let me just get the longest one oh, is it that one there yeah there we go so it would be uh, that one and then again you're going to line up the very top bits here and then that one there and then that one there and then as you can see i've already started sewing those ones like that i'm just going to very quickly put these four together to here so you can see i won't put all the little diddly ones on because you you don't need those but you do want these ones together so again always work in the same way because if you don't work the same way if you do them this side it doesn't work so to the right again okay if you did the first one to the right go to the right with the first the second set so we're just going to very quickly put these two together onto here all right okay now i could have done this a lot slower as a full evening one if i'd thought about it i should have done it as an evening and i could have shown you the quilting as well then in fact actually if i if you don't mind me disappearing for a second i will for some reason you can't comment on your laptop on my phone now i made a couple of these after watching last year and they were really good ah oh, fabulous i'm glad have I done this before, guys? Have I done this at one o'clock? Because we couldn't find it anywhere and we couldn't find um, find it on YouTube. And so many people were asking. That's why I said I'd do it again. Have I already done this? Oh, I bet. Yeah. You guys probably know better than I do. We've done so many now. There we go. All the way down here, like that. I have got some finished ones, so I will grab one in a second for you. All the way down. I know if we did it as a class. Does anyone remember? Have I done this as a one o'clock? I have, have I, Anne? Oh, Anne. Damn, you could have reminded me. I wouldn't have done it again. I wonder where that video is then, because it's not on YouTube, and we couldn't find it on our Facebook page anywhere. Because so many people were asking for tutorial, the tutorial for it. There we go. Right. Oh, nearly there. Well, I wonder where that video vanished to then. How bizarre. Yeah, you did it sometime last year. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to repeat this here. But we looked and looked and looked because somebody who'd bought the kit on Crate and Craft last time wanted a, a video tutorial. And we looked and looked and we couldn't find it. And we were like, no. I was like, maybe I never did it. I knew I'd done it as a, um, a class, but I didn't think I'd done it as a one o'clock. So... Sorry, so what this is just basically for um, <laughs> for uh, those people who've not seen it before then. 
there we go all the way down right i'm not like i said i'm not going to do the whole of this one because of the time element you know you would just carry on here all the way down to one just like we did the other side so over we go back to here oh how have i done that and again give this one a little press so like that well i wonder where that fitted maybe it was when like you know am i oh i might have lost it when my laptop blew up you know my when my old laptop broke didn't it and i had to have a new laptop i wonder if it's one of the ones that we lost in the but it should still be on facebook should still be on our page shouldn't it so i don't know why where that's gone uh you enjoyed watching and not seen for oh lovely brilliant okay so that was my first one up like that and then you make a second one and you'd carry on all the way up to one okay so you'd carry on with this one i'm not going to do that for a time but all the way down okay what you're going to do now is you're going to turn this one so you're going to turn it so it lines up down the middle okay did you see what i did there hopefully i don't know if i was in in shot so it you've got two exactly the same and then you turn that one so that the these two longest edges are joined like that and then you sew that together all right and what you end up with is oh, i hope you guys can see this okay it's sorry i've got it as high as i can but I've got on the camera you get this beautiful wave okay because this would go down to a point this side okay so you join that together i'm not going to join it because i will finish this one <laughs> we'll do another charity sew along all right and you get this beautiful wave like that if you give me one second i'm going to grab the completed one from the cupboard and i can show you then how to complete it And you're exactly where they were, I just haven't grabbed them out. So, oh, hello, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> so, you've got that lovely wave going on, okay? Which will look, when it's done, a little bit like that, all right? So you can see that beautiful wave happening. As you can see, this has got a lovely smooth edge. This hasn't, it's got a jaggedy edge, so. Once you've done your whole piece, you're going to put it onto wadding and backing and you're going to quilt it up, okay? And you can quilt it very, very simply, which is how Anne did it here for me, which is how we say to do it in the pattern. Oh, I've got hiccups. It's just go down and like shadow quilt down. I think it just emphasises that lovely, that lovely pattern, okay? Once you've done that and you've wadded it and quilted it, okay, you can then trim it. Now... I'm going to trim this one without wadding and quilting, all right? What you're going to do is, so that's going to be joined like that. You're looking for these little points here, okay? So can you see where this fabric just overlaps just there and there like that, okay? You're going to aim for those points each time. Kate, you were completely novice when you made uh, yours and was impressed with the finish. You did a fab job on that, Kate. You really did. So it doesn't matter where you start. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to aim for that point. So I would go up to that point like that and then up to that point like that, up to the next point. And I'm looking for that little overlap and you're going to cut away this. And I'm going to follow this around. So I'm going to go from point to point you can do scissors if you prefer point to point to point like that and i'm just following the points okay like that and getting rid of that excess so point to point to point like that all the way up to the top point to point to point all the way around following those points to the end <coughs> excuse me and you will get rid of all that jaggedy edge and have that lovely smooth curve you don't need to because that'll be a, a um sorry my voice is going <coughs> 
you don't need to trim anything here you've already got a nice smooth curve but when you get to this point here you would then go point to point to point to point to point all the way around that bit until you get that lovely spiral okay it's almost like a shell isn't it like a conch shell or something you can then bind it you do need to use a bias binding okay or make your own bias because it's curved cut your fabric on a 45 degree angle and use a bias to bind it okay and just bind it all the way around and your table runner is finished now is there any questions on that is there anybody who wants me to just really go through that i mean hopefully that will if you can re-watch the video you'll, you'll get what i was saying okay you can see that you don't really see that's the number one there you don't see hardly it's only from there to there you see hardly any of it but it does give that nice point so it's worth putting on you when you do it in different colors it looks completely different when we did this one on crate and craft the other day we were saying it almost looks like a mountain range it's like a mountain range with the sky and the like the ocean or a river or something here looks completely different in different colors okay there we go that's a, a red and gray the teak one which again is really effective really really beautiful i think they're fab if you're just trying to sort of jazz up your table a little bit um or if you wanted maybe something for outside in the summer you know on your patio table to put your drinks and stuff on just give something a little bit you know different okay um the pattern it is on our website it, there's a digital download like i said there is a paper pattern with a paper template with the pattern but joe's posting them today we will have more of the rulers in stock by the end of the week all right so you should be able to um if you don't like a paper pattern you can get these from us and once you've got one of these they do amazing you can do so much with these they're brilliant for dresdens you um, you can use them for dresden plates that you don't have to do circular and um, do the spiral you can do lots and lots of strips and make a whole circle you know there's lots of things you can do with a nine degree wedge um maybe we'll do some other tutorials on them and what else you can do with it but that's the little spiral bargello now hopefully this video then will stay put <laughs> and we'll be able to up upload it to youtube for people because we couldn't find the other one we were convinced i'd never done one so um so yeah they they are a lovely lovely project really nice thing to do they're a lot as you've seen a lot lot easier than you think they're going to be just don't panic with getting those fabrics out okay they will fit in they will go okay um just don't cut too far across because then you can't use the bits when you turn it round and when you get to that sort of four five six you will look at it everybody does look at it and go I've got no, I haven't got a fabric there's no way this is going to fit in just go back and test out the ruler or the template and you will have enough fabric okay don't panic <laughs> um could you use fat quarters to make it yes you could Jane because you um because you only actually need two and a half by 21 you could do it with fat quarters rather than a jelly roll as long as you can because I use a jelly roll which is like 44 42 is it and then cut it in half and use those you could just cut extra so that you've got um you could use it at fat quarters absolutely yeah um it is it's a thanks Marion it's a really nice technique this one it's really it's really effective and looks like you've gone to a lot of trouble you really haven't okay so that's it for me today that was quite a long one today i'll be back tomorrow with block of the week and then um i'm off up to duxford then thursday morning and sarah will do she did say but i can't remember what it is oh pan holders little pan circular pan holders i think it was um, so she'll be back on Thursday so a full week of one o'clock and I will do lives on Friday Saturday and possibly Sunday from the show from Duxford as well so um, I will keep show you what's going on at the show um, like you always do me rabbiting on um, oh don't worry Jean you can catch up my darling um, you'll have seen it before because apparently I've done this one before <laughs> um, so yeah take care everybody I will see you all tomorrow for block of the week um keep your group blocks coming in we've had quite a few now but if you are going to do it remember you've got till the end of march to get it to us um but yeah keep them coming we need a few more i think we've we've probably got about 
two thirds of the quilt at the moment, but we definitely need a few more. So if you haven't done it and sent it in to us, please do so. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow, my darlings. Take care. Bye.